All right, first off, I want to say, oh, Kal, Alal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the brothers in the highways and the byways, doing this work in sincerity and all, and all truth. All right, this is your brother, Yahweh, Hala, once again, and just want to do a quick lesson on the whole Venezuela shit, because another thing will come out basically based off of the video here. Um, people in v Venezuela are eating cats, dogs, pigeons to survive. Why this happen? The whole um, the money basically inflation happen over there. You get me? The money just reached to a sky high where you need a bag, a literally bag pack full of money, just to get some food. You get me? And not even much food, as I can say over in the corner where you see people have a shutter. There are closed down certain parts because people are try a going night. You have a line we'll go straight back out there. So where it said that it starts from five a.m. in the morning and line finish from three p.m. in the evening. That's how much people they're trying to get food. You get me? And basically, this is just prophecy coming about, yo. Because the Most High speaks about this. I like have famine and pestilence and all that good stuff happening in the last days because we living in the last days this is the last time and she's she's definitely gonna go down you get me people are gonna have are gonna have them problems with the with our have shit with them have to go handle first piece of more bring up on that um matthew matthew 13 verse no Alright, this is Matthew 24, verse 3. And the and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, and the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? So them asked him. Basically, when I look up the word, word world, there you go back to Eon. Which means an age or a perpetual time. Right? So they're gonna ask him basically what what gonna be the end of this age, what gonna be the end of this era we're living in now. And Yahweh answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many, and ye shall hear of wars and rumours of wars and war seeing see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end shall not but the end is not yet for a nation shall rise against nations and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquake in diverse places so yahweh basically prophesy basically what will happen in the in the last days are in this time as we're speaking in now. And one of this main example of what going on in Venezuela, you have famine going on over there, they can't get food. Jobs are being limited to two days out of the week. You get me? So people have hardly have time to even go out there for make money. You understand me? So people are resort um resort to having dogs, cats, pigeons, whatever them can find to eat. I mean, I tell us that the most I even that the most I got taken from me. You get me? As the precept we did that on the screen when we just pull up the up here. Illustrate. Well, I have hell for fine food. Most, well, people in a, on a whole, I got to have hell for fine food. Because what the most I got taken with the, 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 the creatures of the, of the land. So when people think that so they can go out and hunt them own food, mind shop, you go out there and start hunting each other because what because there's no animals to feed on because the, the most i got take them away this um prime example of precept is hosea 4 verse 3 therefore shall the land mourn and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish and the beasts of the field and the and the fowls of heaven yea the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away so the most i got move them thing there so when the fee say oh you can go there and pick and pick some herbs or something or get some fruits and live off. You go out there and see a tree and not even leaves you seen on the tree. 
you go out there in the, in the wilderness and you're not even see a, a, a like for example you know see a, a, a dove pass in in days you get me you, you know some in basically in jamaica when they go certain places you can literally go certain places and like if you go um far enough in the mountainsides or something you can find wild goats or wild cows in those times you might not find none you pray for see one of them and not see nothing you see me that's how russian things are going to be you understand me and you're gonna be running for your life you're gonna be trying to defend yourself because what people are gonna try to take a little food where you have or take you because them can't find food you understand me and this is going to happen worldwide the reason why it not happen to america is yet as um in the same video we we'll put up the, the 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 guy illustrate that america is supposed to fall in the same trap there. but guess what why them escape from it or because well while them still no fall into it because them, them they're going to get into that that's gonna happen to america the reason why it not happen yet are because them they're they're on um, the us dollar is the world reserve currency so by the time the money start run low them go again and them just pump them is pumping on them economy more money them create them own money and this increase the, the 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 bubble the debt bubble where them have upon themselves right now america is supposed to over 18 trillion dollar in debt but them still afloat upon the same debt bubble there but in in the end or in time to come this shit's going shit's going to hit the fan and i mean a lot of things are going to happen so, and people are gonna have hell. The next precept more I bring what um and like me I say I prophecy this. This is all prophecy. You get me? It happened in Venezuela as an example for people to start to see. And some people it's like a fly over some people's head and them never wake up and realize. This is second Ezra fifteen verse fifteen. Uh for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. So this thing closer than you think, yo. And one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords and swords in their hands. Because people are gonna want to defend them food, yo. People are gonna want to defend where them where them live. I'm gonna defend them own lives because guess what? Them no say yo them are gonna get hunted. Even when they watch some video in Venezuela when they say um the the police or the military are go and them are literally a beat people them just grab somebody and them just start beat them to kill them you understand me certain things were going over there now me say people me them them in a documentary the man say yo them are tell them say some journalists them are tell them say yo don't go out at nights at certain times in the nights them have gun control them them have literally certain parts in Venezuela where them say yo no guns allowed right them of the sick them of the hotel where they must stay and the man say after them go out and them come back them man look for the security at the door them realize that the security are hiding behind the door why because him not a gun for defend himself and the main point the man say yo people people the bad people them so called bad or the wicked people them in Venezuela and them have the guns so them have time to defend themselves why do you think Obama take out the whole um fifth amendment way where you can bear arms is a reason them no say how shit's gonna hit the fan and I'ma try swear the po um sway the population in a way where they will have the upper hand with the military and you people have nothing to so called defend yourselves because they can't defend themselves against this man, yo. Finish this for for their for sh there shall be sedition among men and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes. Prime, prime example, um, your government. When this shit happen, you, you're going to be first thing you want to do, take out your government. Take out the government. You're fine with you want. You want to kill the government or something. You understand me? Because guess what? When when this economic strain come down upon you, you know, what to do? Your brain stop think. And you know what going to start thinking for you? Your stomach. Because you're going to say you're hungry. You're going to find means and ways to get food. And one of the means and ways you say, yo, this government not the shit for you. This government have make life or things or the situation harder for you. And you're going to want to take out the government there. Because you think, say, if you take out the government or the ruling power, 
them can um then things can get better because somebody are gonna come in and make things a little better. No. This thing never going to get better. Prime example, Jamaica was saying say oh things are gonna get better and all of them over vision twenty thirty and you know, but guess what? If you look at the Jamaican dollar right now, it's a slide, I think at one twenty four they know to to one US. And don't you think that it will come up to um the the situation where you reach in Venezuela? We have hyperinflation. You wake up one day and you just find the price of bread reach a good hundred thousand dollar. What do you think people are gonna do then? Scripture said, "For there shall be sedition among men invading one another. They shall they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their action and the course of their actions shall stand in their power." That means. Nobody now go follow what the government wants. Everybody are go and do what them what them own a thing. You gotta have a thing called jungle justice, where people are go go and try get their rights, right? And them now go follow what the government has say, or where the police force are come out and say people don't need to stop for this. Else we are gonna take actions. No, people are gonna get shot. People are going to be shot down. People are going to be massacred because what them fee say yo. Them need to take things in their own hand because things are gonna get violent, and them are gonna want to take it in their own hands where them are gonna do them own defending and fending for themselves. Finish it for because, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled and houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. A man not gonna want to get up no say out. Him not no food and them thing that him have to go, go go cross from Spanish town to half to go look something. Cause by the time him know him step out, a man that police that grab him and say where him go, beat him, kill him, shot him, kill him, or him stay with him there and somebody come find him and then kill him for where him have or kill him for him. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, and shall. Spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So you're going to have basically an economic collapse. And we're going to go on. People are going to try to fend for themselves. And nobody going to have no respect a person. Especially the police them. Because especially when shit gets really tough upon them. And them can't have it no other way. They, them are going to turn upon them one another. Right? You know, it might happen for major countries. But the small countries, them, or the major countries, them, on a business boat, them are going to start, like, you have a movie, World War Z, where Brad, um, Brad Pitt did the, you know, the, uh, Brad Pitt, the same actor, him, go, him, him, him and him family going to the supermarket, and them are try to look, as looting was going on, which I got home, and them going to the supermarket to grab food, and them see the policeman, and the first thing him do, him put, him put up his hand, and when the police do, the police pass him and grab food for himself and go away. Right? And you're gonna have that in certain places. You're gonna have where the police force now go look for, 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 for follow the, the laws of the, the government to keep the people down. Some some of them are gonna fend for themselves because it's hard upon them. You see me? So with that, we just wanna say oh Kal Halal Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and Shalom. Shalom.